Frenzy? Oh, I'll take Frenzy. Look, the best thing we could have got. Oh, that's guaranteed lethal. He's not going to have an answer to that. Honestly, even if he heals, I don't care. Uh, how much are you going to heal? Go, heal again. More taco. Play, uh, I don't care. Look at this. <laughs> he didn't even front it, but look at the power, man. The Quasar and adding something to this thing. <laughs> don't do that, Fry. <laughs> yes! What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today, we are doing a deck that is based on an experiment we made yesterday. Let me explain. Uh, at the end of the stream, people send me decks for me to rate. If you want to see that part of the stream, you got to not watch on YouTube. you got to come to twitch.tv forward slash fry them up where people spend their channel points uh, to show me decks. And the idea was Valkyrie inside a graveyard, and then you use Excavator to yeet the graveyard. So you basically play Setup Graveyard on turn 6, Valk Excavator on turn 7. Uh, the Valkyrie is going to be charged, it's going to have all this attack, and it's going to do a huge attack, and anything they play into the graveyard is going to be subsequently uh, subsequently just, uh, bounced off the field, because Excavator bounces an environment and all uh, plants inside of it. And I didn't think this would work, so we did actually an experiment at the end of the stream, and I was sure that Valkyrie would not maintain its bonus attack strength uh, once it's placed into a graveyard, just like a mixed up grave digger. If it has any buffs from a Stompadon, and you play mixed up grave digger, it goes into a grave, it pops out, and it's just a 5 5 again. Same thing with any card that has any physical buffs to its attack or health. If you play Encrypt and put it in a gravestone, it pops out. It does not have its extra attack. So I did test this uh, game mechanic, and to my great surprise, it actually does work. Valkyrie maintains its attack. So if this goes into the graveyard with 10 attack, it will bounce, it'll come out of the graveyard with 11 attack, it does not delete it unless you use Encrypt and shove it back into a grave, that's a very cool game mechanic. Uh, so it turns out that there's actually another hero besides for Professor Brainstorm that's useful with Valk. Usually Valkyrie is an only Professor Brainstorm um, uh, card because you can teleport it in or you can use it with mustache monument most heroes though if you just play valkyrie on the field you know you've built your whole deck around it you've spent the whole game buffing this up to you know 8 10 12 attack and you know you play it on the field and it just gets shamrocketed it just gets cob cannon it will just get removed by anything uh, but the cool thing is that if you play it in a graveyard, I mean, there's only a few cards that answer Valkyrie if it's played in a graveyard. There's Gravebuster, Blockbuster, Great Flick, and I guess Cool Beam will at least prevent it from uh, attacking that turn. But, you know, that those are very niche cards It's not that only are in some decks. We're also going to be playing a lot of cards into the graveyard before to sort of draw out their grave removal. Uh, so the Valkyrie will hopefully will not be encountered by any Grave Busters or Block Busters or anything like that. Uh, so Graveyard is also very... So that's the strategy. I didn't end up running Excavator because Valkyrie Excavator, it's kind of unreliable. The Excavator is only going to really work, um, on, you know, on turn 7 with the Valkyrie. The better combo is just Valkyrie Exploding Fruitcake. Exploding Fruitcake will remove, you know, 99% of cards in the game. Uh, so again, you just play your Valkyrie. And even on turn 6, you can do it a turn earlier into the graveyard. And the finisher is going to be Valkyrie Exploding Fruitcake. So in order to charge the Valk, you need a uh, deck that is full of minions. I was thinking of running Pirates, which would probably be good, but the ch chat voted that would be too boring. So we're going to be doing something a lot more interesting. We are running the uh, Splash sort of Conjure Deadly, uh, which really leans into the use of the graveyard in the early game, particularly this card, the Space Ninja. If you play this into the graveyard, it pops out as a 2 cost 4 2. First of all, excellent stats uh, with the little one attack buff that I got from the graveyard. Plus, it will be splashing one damage all around the field. If subsequently you were to give this a barrel of barrels, it'll make it deadly. You can also make it deadly using Super Stench. Uh, and that will make it that this will be splashing one damage around the field, one deadly damage around the field, and will clear uh, everything they play. We are also in space time, which again, you could put into graveyard against Rose. That's a really good place because the space time is basically <laughs> definitely going to hit phase uh, on turn two against Rose if it's played protected by the graveyard. Uh, once we're running space time, running Quasar, this will allow us to be playing a little reactively, play this on turn three. 
you're going to be able to get a superpower and play that superpower together with it. Uh, also running Abracadaver, which is uh, a good card if you've set up your strong turn two plays. They're really going to want to try to deal with the space time and not really, probably not going to be worrying too much about that turn three gravestone you just played. And uh, this will get extreme damage if it's going face. It'll be doing damage to your opponent. And... Um, it will be, uh, it, it'll do three damage to a random plant, which is a ton of value for a three drop. There's actually a little bit of mind games with Abracadaver too. If you play this directly into a graveyard, usually they're not fronting minions you play in graveyard, because then you're getting extra value every sing single turn. You're going to be getting extra attack, then play another guy extra attack. So you're usually just leaving it and not fronting it, and that will actually ensure that the Abracadaver will get uh, that open lane that it really wants to see in order to get the three damage to a random plant. So running some bungee plumbers, both to be able to play a little reactively, answer key minions and also proc the blocks to set up the Val. Uh, cowboy is not only a very strong card but it's particularly good with graveyard again just graveyard in lane two and put a cowboy into it now all of a sudden space cowboy instead of having three damage in every single lane it's going to keep moving over and attacking uh this will have four damage and we'll be able to deplete here sometimes we'll just win with graveyard cowboy i'm sure we'll have games like that let's see how this deck does i'm pretty excited about this i think this works well we have a bunch of early game cards that are not only going to charge the valve they're going to be putting on some pressure controlling the field emptying lanes but also work very well with the graveyard so actually very excited to have a non-professor brainstorm valve deck i've tried it but uh have i think this is going to be the one that actually works keeping valk in your starting hands really good uh we'll keep Command, especially against solar flare uh don't think we need deadly so should I look for a 2-drop is the question, or should I keep this? I think I'm going to look for a 2. Oh, there's another Valk. That is fine. All right, guys. So if you think this deck will win, I, I don't think that it's going to take too long. So if you think this deck will win uh, 8 games out of 10 vote, yes. 5 games, 7 games out of 10, sorry, is going to be a no over here at the live stream. Twitch.tv forward slash prime up. Uh, I think if our opponent, well, it doesn't really matter. I'll play as a knight. We're kind of playing into Colonel Pult. Playing around a little bit around Scorch. Well, let's go. Yeah, man. I really hope this works, though. Again, it's just Valk Fruitcake. Sometimes even Valk Bungie will be enough. Sometimes you'll get something from Quasar. There's, there's options. So there's a 3-3 Galactic Cactus. Sheesh. Uh, I probably, well, the, the strength is so good with the cowboy, I'm not even gonna. Let's see if this is a, a opponent who's hacking 40 reincarnations. I don't know why, I just assume that would <laughs> see one. Come on, man. Um, pass this turn and do the combo next turn. I think so. This is more reliable, by the way, than laser base alpha. You place in the laser base alpha, it's usually dead on the spot. Uh, this combo is pr protected by the graveyard. This is going to be a guaranteed field clear here. There's nothing the opponent can even do about it. And then, I actually hope he fronts this, because this will clear the field. And then we'll have Cowboy Strength, basically, for the win. Oh, come on. That's okay. Really, really good play. Smack. So, so far, Ninja's getting it done. It's still in, a, in an environment, so we'll take it. We take those. Uh, I'll go for the cowboy. Cowboy plus strength here is really, really good. He can't even deal with the cowboy. He has to deal with the with the deadly ninja. God damn it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's so annoying. Okay, well, we have Val. <laughs> There's that. <sighs> Everything's going to be fine. So we have two, two, one, one. Something like that. Uh, well, uh, I think that goes on Heist player on Scorch, and we'll have this in the middle, countering these lanes. Yes, some drain. Who cares? We can strength something here. Maybe I'll just strength this face time. Yeah, I know. There's a siren outside. Wow. So it turns out Acid Rain is like one of the best thing we could have got. Come on, man. Yes. Okay. Uh, looks like I'm gonna. Oh. I <laughs> to can play that game. Buckaroo. Uh, yeah, let's do this. I think I'm gonna strength this up too. It's just, you know, he already used the Scorch. It's just something he's gonna have to spend a card on now. 
the threat. Uh, looking for graveyard. <laughs> I could just Valk Fruitcake right now. <laughs> Why not? You know what? <laughs> just Valk Fruitcake right now. I want to do it with the graveyard, though. I mean, it's the right play. Do the right thing, Fry. What if he got Soul Patch from one of those Cosmic Flowers? Yeah, that would suck. Don't kill my Valk, please. <laughs> wow, he, he's not even... He's not even worried about the Valk. Um, okay. We should win here. That should do it. I mean, he could he could Cali roll us. I don't know if we've hit him. I don't know how many times we've hit him so far. We've probably rolled a bunch of ones. How is he not blocked yet? Never mind. That was not a California roll. But he rolled a three and a two. Karma. You're right. Excavator would have been would have been better than Fruitcake. You're right. <laughs> that turn. Maybe we should run Excavator in case our graveyards get covered. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. Yeah, we're in trouble because it's going to be really hard to do six damage now. Really? Really? Well, that'll be the end of that game. Fruitcake is the worst card that we could get here. Oh my god. Sapping. Too many sirens. Too bad. I thought we had that guy. We were kind of dominating. I felt really good about that game when we had the splash play into the cowboy, but he just had an answer to everything. That's all that happened. He had the hammer for the cowboy. He had all these little tic tac -y removal cards. Cute. Two, three. Do I need the bungee? Probably. It's sad against Guardian, because if you play this and play a card into it, it's just like a 2v1. Two for one uh, spike weed sector. Am I going to play the new Zelda game? I don't know. Maybe. Now what? Let's just pray he doesn't have spike weed. Okay. Value? Four damage too. Take those. Uh, probably bungees. Need the way. What about Quasar and bungee. The box deadly. <laughs> well, we top deck deadly from Quasar when we have this garbage on the field. Watch him like just buff this card now. Yes, thank you. <laughs> So sad for him. Watch until he sees he's gonna insta concede here, man. He's not even gonna be able to deal with this, no. Bye bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> Too good. Man. And he's down to nine health. That was turn three. We did eleven damage. Like breath. Like, bro, for real. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get this now, too. He's gonna have to deal with this, so... He can't afford to look at the... Abracadaver. No! God damn it! <laughs> Come on! Cool Bean, the perfect answer. Sheesh! Okay. Yeah. 
Lazarus, thank you. Three months cube, 27 months, that's what I'm talking about. Maug. You didn't like that. Oh, that's pretty good. It's gonna have to deal with these now, yeah. I think we're in really good shape. Pretty good. <laughs> we don't get the superpower immediately. Sad, he has a chance to answer these. But it's okay. So I'll usually have a free superpower and a bungee plumber, which is really, really good. Three nut. Three nut. So we have double bungee here. Ugh. Well, we don't. We have single bungee, but... Summoning for free? Doesn't help at all. Um, yeah, the 5-1 is better than the 2-2. Two -two. It's just, it's just math. It's just not math at all, but you know what I'm saying. Space time conjures a card. <sighs> now what? We just need three damage, man. So four, one, one. Yes. I probably should have just played this in water, but it doesn't matter. Running cool, man. It's okay. Yeah, in water, well, free Nana. Okay. <laughs> we have the free summoning to try to proc the block here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> when you free Nana and then we play a guess, that's that. Uh, well, Mog. You already used Mog, right? He mogged, so he mogged the Abracadaver. You fool. Yes. So that's guaranteed. Good old Imp. Good old Imp. I realize we can have a pretty decent chance of getting more environments, both from Space Time and from Quasar. You know, there's a decent chunk of, of Quasar powers actually make environments because of HG. And then Space Time, you know, it's the Galacta set. That's the one with the most environments in it. I think that's, I think that's a good thing. We'll see if we ever do the Graveyard Valk thing here. <laughs> I'm just gonna start, um... I'm just gonna start removing people who are messaging me during the stream. Come on, guys. It's in the rules of the stream, literally. Like, literally. Alright, this looks pretty good. Environment's good against Nightcap, too. Also, once we play the two cost Quasar, he really might YOLO the Planet of the Grape Sensor in 3. We'll see what happens here. Interesting. <laughs> uh, question is, where does this go? Uh, he could, he, you know, he could easily play a team up and then it kind of messes us up. I guess this is okay. We. Play buff. So it's either Quasar's superpower, plus maybe an environment, or just Abracadaver. I think we'll do it like this. I have like Z-Max Super or something. Extra strength. So we have two brute strengths in hand. Okay. I guess it's fine. Three cost five too. Not terrible. Super. Ugh. This guy's really, really aggressive. Look at him. Damn. 
you. Discount. One cost final. Should block the three damage here, never mind. Come on. That's not what we needed, Graveyard. We just need some, some answers here, man. That was not it. At least Astro Shroom is dead. This is gonna be really hard. We need small cards. I guess we'll go for this, right? This really, if he doesn't have a, like another bounce, this cowboy should be able to kill him. 666. Six, six. Really good. That does not do enough. Hopefully he doesn't get like Puff Shroom to kill this cowboy. Uh, we should be good. We sometimes win here. We just gotta roll two, two, two. There's a one. So far, so good. Yes. And? <laughs> Come on, man! Come on! <laughs> well, final mission wins. Oh, okay, final mission wins. Uh, uh, Berry Blast also wins, though. Watch him Berry Blast and now and get it. Watch that happen. Bungie does not win. Well, these two... In case he flicks a gravestone, I'll do this. It's just a one cost final mission. He could bring Nana, but whatever. Uh, GG. Yep, yeah, but we got him. <sighs> Barrel of barrels for the win, essentially. Anyway. Is Agro Solar Flare even good anymore, sure? I, I don't think it's like the best deck in the game, but... You know, it has answers. It's it's a it's a very strong deck though. If the opponent doesn't have the right answers, you just win automatically. And you win fast too, so in terms of ranking up, I would still very highly recommend it. Okay, so I don't know. Space Ninja's so sad. <laughs> Maybe I'll just get rid of it. Alright, that's better. Do I do I do clones? Okay, we'll do clones. Clones first. I think we're gonna do Quasar next. We wanna set this up on three for the cowboy, theoretically. Man, Astro Show, what is with the nightcaps here? It just feels like the the, 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 the game, like the blue stacks, is just a little running a little slow today. Let's see what's happening here. It's just like, it's not the stream lagging. I haven't dro I've dropped zero frames this stream so far. And my, my GPU's not getting overloaded. I don't know why. It, doesn't, it just seems like a little, little off. Okay. Graveyard now. <laughs> He's hoping to get the con man. Okay. I don't know, Astro Schumann Heights, should I not even commit the graveyard? I think I will. So it's gonna be a con man ninja. A con man, a con man ninja? See now, he, if he sets up Planet of the Grapes, he kind of just loses anyway. Uh, this splash of one damage will probably be really good. He's probably gonna just put a bunch of guys on the field. Never mind. He's just running a mushroom deck. Okay, well. <laughs> This doesn't even necessarily do damage this turn. Roll one. <laughs> so sad. Okay. So it's just Cowboy Evaporate, I guess. We can also go Valk Evaporate. Okay. 
Cat voice a little better here, I think. You have Bungie Evaporate to kill anything from the Valk. Hmm. Okay. Which one of these do we want to kill? This, the, well... Well... <laughs> do I want to Bungie anything here? I mean, four damage goes a long way. I think just four damage to face, I can brainlessly do that. Four, three... And... I don't know. Yeet! Four, three, and yeet. I can evaporate this next turn. La la la, okay, that's lethal. <laughs> yeah, we still haven't pulled off the Valk combo. <laughs> Dex doing okay then. <laughs> that was a weird Malakale, not very effectual. La 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 Okay. Ah, uh, that's a good hand. Cheeky Monkus. Been all cup Loom heroes today, I think. What has it been? Two solar flares and two nightcaps, right? Nightcap. Nightcap, solar flare, yep. Bruh. I guess I'll play Sun Heights to play around Scorch. These Quasars are gonna be some value town, though. Effectual, isn't that a word? Isn't that a word, guys? Effectual. It's another way, another word for effective. Yeah. Successing and producing the desired intended result. Effectual. Effectual. See? See, Moist? <laughs> moist is telling me it's not a word. Dude, go back to school. Come on, man. That's cringe. Oh, sorry. I just raped you guys again. It's not effectual. You guys are cringe. Cringe! Can actually lightning bolt in case he puts a two, a five two on the board. I don't know. Bro, who runs Chopper? This guy apparently. We also could just do like Balk into like lightning bolt and Bungie should basically clear whatever he's got, whatever he got going on. I can also set up graveyard for just uh for Mop. I think that's what we have to do. We have no choice. Plain environment, yes, thank you. It's very nice of you. I really I really do appreciate it. Is this good for us? I think we're in playing in more lanes than this dude. Alright. Uh I'm close to being able to Valk. Aha! Mop time! We can kill all the little guys and then blow the big guy. If he does that. Play a four drop. God damn it. <sighs> Mop. I don't know. Do we care about this 2 2 enough? I think I'll just put a Valk here. <laughs> I don't know. I should have let this die and go on face for 10. I don't know what I'm doing. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Intense stream, gone effectual. You guys know how it works. I'm gonna get effectual on that ass. There, cute that. <laughs> God damn it. Huh? Huh? <laughs> These Valks, they're getting thick. They getting thick. Do I go for one? I actually have a few Valks in hand, so I think I'm just gonna go for one now. Between Lightning Bolt and Blow, we should be good to go. Be good to go. So we got the 13 attack Valk against Solar Flare, who just does not have Grave Removal.
But if he puts a minion here, it's just lightning bolt this one and then blow said minion for 13 damage. Uh huh. We're doing that anyway. Lightning! Lightning! It's the Chomper deck, guys! All hail Chomper! <laughs> yeah, that's 13 damage. Yay! Now we just need two. It's a happy day for all the Jew. Uh, four, two, two, one. Let's go to me. Uh, I should probably play this first, right? Now we have two superpowers. Including a free dude. <laughs> like, dude. Look at the Valks getting the value. <sighs> I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> That's not even close to enough. That's not enough damage. God damn it. Yeah, it is. Bro! Bro! <laughs> bro! Bro! Dude, like, bro. Really. I think I'll play around another. <laughs> we rolled a one. That's good. Get a guy. <laughs> now we got the real guy. <laughs> I don't know. Can we play all of this? Oh my god, we can like pie, just like pie all ass. I don't even need the Valk really. I think we're gonna give him one of these, always. Should I do the Valk in case he heals? You know what, this will be the best case if he plays Ascrovera. Which is the only thing that really saves him. You would need to, I don't even know what he'd have to do, man. He'd have to play a guy and kill both, all three of these somehow. And he played Cortico. Oh my god. Oh, thank you so much for doing that. My friend. My friend, thank you. My friend, I don't care. You got full block meter. I don't care. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this corner counter. That's right. Counter Copia. Uh, you're dead. Uh, you're dead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> he probably can answer this though. For the win? Boar Spore? God damn it! <laughs> it was still amazing, I don't care. We got this guy, man. We got this dude! We got this dude. He can't even destroy this, he can't even do anything. Plus, plus! <laughs> yes! <sighs> uh -huh. Dude. And the guy from Gravity Falls, what's his name? What's the guy from Dude. Yes. See ya. Definitely would not want to be it. <laughs> Woohoo! It's a highlight. Get wrecked. We're four and one. This deck, we lost the first game. Everyone's like, oh no. Oh no. But yeah, man. 80% of you still voted yes. I'm proud of you. Probably, what's your favorite food? Uh, potato knishes. <laughs> Actually, potato barecas. They're basically the same thing. It's like puff pastry with. Nice chickeny, oniony mashed potatoes inside. <sighs> yes! Graveyard's good against Solar Flare. Let's see what we can pick up here. To stick inside Graveyard. That is fine. I'll hold on to the Valk too. So if he plays aggro, I'll go Infinity Clones. If not, I'll just set up the Graveyard into. Graveyard you want to set up in two, because if the cowboy goes into it, you want him to pop out and have a few lanes to hop around. 
pop around. Wow, this is so good too, though. Woo! Man, what do we want? Four damage or two and conjure a card? We'll do the smart play. Uh, this one lives, the other one doesn't. Yeah, I don't really understand this though, because you front it. Like, if it kills it, I get the graveyard again next turn. So I get the advantage. And if it doesn't, if it's space time, which it usually is, then let's be real. So we'll do these two now. Into Cowboy M3. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm I think the play is to do nothing, and we just Cowboy, and we'll continue from there. Clogging the lanes with Infinity Clones really makes this Cowboy less good. I mean, <laughs> it's turn four. Bro, what do you think it is, man? And it's Solar Flare, too. It's all been Kabloom Heroes. I don't know why, but the graveyards have been so amazing. We got Cool Beans one time. But look at it. It's, just, it's 16 damage. What are we doing here? It's so good, man. Yeet. Give that man some grave removal. Give that man a conceive button for real. See ya. Yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get wrecked! <laughs> Sheesh. Shisha. Can beat him. Bro, you have a beautiful singing voice. Thank you. I don't know if you're sarcastic, but thank you anyway. Try the corned beef knishes from Toronto Kosher. Greasy meat junky junk food balls. You know, I'll be living up there later this year, so perhaps. Corn beef conditions. I'll I'll have that in mind the next time I step by there. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe hey. Maybe you're lazy. Maybe that. I probably should have mulliganed this one first, right? Uh, I think we're just getting fitting the clones on one because every nightcap is a threat of being cycle cap. Unless he plays the most non cycle cap card. That's not it. Uh, wouldn't mind one of these trading here. Don't like Lima Pluridon being on the board. That was great infinity clones. I like how it's all the way to the right, too, because we have two shots that want to happen before this infinity clone does. Unos dos. <sighs> it's Uno, not Unos. I know that. <laughs> How's your favorite food? Not fries. Fry them up. What's my favorite type of fries? Sweet potato fries. I love sweet potato fries. Nice crispy ones. Wow, really, really, really decent card here. Yeah, I almost want to, you know what? I'm going to do this since we have to answer that. We got environments in case of cycle cap. We have, you know, we can just spam an environment anyway. Bro. Dude. <laughs> should I worry about this or should I just go phase for all of this, man? I think that's what I'm doing. It's so much damage and we're conjuring two cards now. So we basically have cards for the rest of the game. Awesome. Awesome. And there's another environment. I mean, if it's... Well, the California, all this kind of... Did he? I think he's used six. I don't need to remember. Maybe I'm crazy. Do I go for that dab here? I don't think so. Plus, we have two con man, so if he tries drawing any cards with Planet of the Grapes, it's not going to work out. Just not going to work out. Boy, the man is running snakes. That is what is happening here. Do I want to start leaping this? I do. It's going to be a 1 2, so I'd say a 2 drop is probably better than a 1 2 con man. Not always better than a 1 3. Uh, the conjures are killing here. Look at these cards. Love them. They're so cheap and effective, too. Love them. It's just like your mom. <laughs> Cheap but effective. Please do not get zombies best friend. That would be the worst card here. Anything besides that. Okay. 
Now we dab. Now we can. This is like guaranteed dab value. Empty block meter. Shot, 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 shot. Okay. Bruh. Shot, 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 shot. It's a good free kick. A fine free kick indeed. Yes! <laughs> we lost one game and then we won six. Let's go! <laughs> we still really have I mean, we had one game where the Graveyard Valks were a thing. Is this deck just good? What is carrying us? Why are we winning? We're just playing... Conjure splash reactively. I think that I think the ones where we do too many barrels and too many ninjas and we're just all in on that strategy and you don't play reactively enough, that's when it doesn't work. But if you're playing patiently, I guess the Valks allow us to play early game patiently. We don't have to be pressuring. So we can set up like the super, you know, like the turn four ninja deadly instead of like trying to do that on turns two and three, forcing it. Maybe I'm crazy. That's a fine starting hand indeed. Indeed. Even lurkers like me are impressed. Let's go. Ah, picking plants and taking names is what we're doing tonight. So this is good. We'll set up the dab for turn three somehow. It's probably like grave. I think I'm going to do the graveyard thing. Where we put dab in the graveyard makes it less likely for him to front him. That whole thing? Let's do it. He doesn't know what it is. He is. How would he know? How would he know? Okay, in this situation, since it's only minion on the field and he seems to be playing control, he probably will front it. It's four damage still. And it's a minion for Quasar. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Poor Abracadabra, of all the things he needs to do, it needs to hit face, and the opponent needs to not block, but there also has to be a guy on the field. It doesn't necessarily... Not necessarily. Let's see what we get from Quasar first. We'll decide if we commit combat. I think we commit combat. We have, uh... We want there to be a good strength. We have three guys on the field. He's gonna be able to remove the dab, so let's let's get another threat developed here. It'll be the four attack. Con man. And he hammers a one drop. The three drop answering the one drop. I'll definitely take it. Got some money. Money. So we got the uh, three cost five two Quasar again. He thought it wasn't a threat, but it was. So this does seven. Woo, should we go for it now? I don't know. <laughs> kinda wanna. Kinda wanna go for it now. I probably should have put that in the graveyard, though. Whoops. I'm saving it for the Valk. <clears throat> I'm gonna probably spam this this turn and just to get a card. <sighs> he doesn't expect Valk. I, I guarantee you that. Should I spam this? Yeah, I spam it. It's not gonna be useful. It's a card. Uh... He hasn't really controlled with minions yet. It's mostly been tricks. We could go for this. Uh, you know, it's a trick-based deck. He could just come in with the big minion now, and that's the we kind of need this to. You know what? Let's slow it down. It's okay. We, there's no need to try to win this turn. We're at 20 health. It's only turn six. He probably won't do anything too insane here. Pennsylvania. I'm gonna spam this. Imagine if this was Valk, that would have really not worked out. Woo! We needed a card. And we got one, boys. Pennsylvania, yeah. I'm seeing you, minion. I'll put this here so the Quasar can be actually played next turn. I'll probably just go for this next turn. The man is getting ready for impact. 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 13 attack, Valk would have gotten it done. Too bad. Hopefully we just roll a 1 or a 2 here. Don't want to see a 3, because that messes up our play next turn. I'm just going to go for it now. He's, he's, he needs to worry about this. So, looks like Graveyard Valk being effectual. We'll see if this gives us any... Yeah. Frenzy? Oh, I'll take Frenzy! That's the best thing we could have got! Oh, that's guaranteed lethal. He's not going to have an answer to that. Honestly, even if he heals, I don't care. Uh, how much are you going to heal? Go, heal again. More taco. 
But, uh, I don't care. Look at this. <laughs> he didn't even front it, but look at the power, man. The Quasar and adding something to this thing. <laughs> don't do that, Fry. <laughs> yes! Woo! Highlight intro. Now we're... <laughs> Seven and one all of a sudden. Yes! Valk doing something? Valk, Valk carrying the deck? I think that's fine. I think a deck, a Valk deck that wins without Valk, that's a really good recipe. Because you don't want... I know Valk tricks are high with them. We really rely on two finishers. But you want the deck to be able to win and not wait for one card that you're mulliganing for and you still don't get, you know? Yes! Yes! Highlights! Got some Highlight City! Wow, do I get rid of this to get a more efficient early game? It's a strong card. I think I am. Okay. <laughs> I wish I had the last minute of my life back, not gonna lie. <laughs> Where does this go? Here. Yes! And it's Garleek. Does very little there. Garlic mom. Lick your mom. <laughs> I don't know. Garlic your mom. That was. No, not okay, guys. Not okay. Uh, I kind of wish the frenzy actually made a difference there. Not gonna lie. That's so epic, man. Captain Madness! Woo! So he actually does that to set up Lily. Very cool indeed. He doesn't know that we don't have Deadly, but we know. This is a pretty good opportunity to set up the dab and get some value from it. There's also a world where we... We protect Bungie. I, you know, he's gonna get that Heist Lane. I'd rather him just get it now. We'll see what the dab. If the dab hits the garlic, it actually switches lanes, which is fun. Dab value. Uh, protect cowboy might be good. Let's see what we get here. First of all, you know, none of the hitting. Okay, we <laughs> let's go. <laughs> that wasn't really good. Actually, good. Wow, now we have an extra protected cowboy. I think this is what I'm doing. This in Protect looks good, especially if he removes the down. Can you rumble or plant food me, please? Party place! Is there a world that we actually bungee here? What the heck is this? <laughs> Uh, this should be fine. Gives us another card. Woo! Sheesh! It just prevents him from conjuring again. I really don't want another cheap legendary. Come on, man. Well, I guess I'll just set up another cowboy and we'll bungee. Looks good. Ow! 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 Ouch! Ouchy! Ouchy, mommy! Survey says, okay. Wow, we are protected. Oh, I'm doing that. I am doing that. Oh, it's such a good trade. And it also makes him not conjure a card again, which is so cool. It's like, it's like, fuck off. Yeah, he thinks like, oh, look, I'm going to get legendary and it costs you less. Bro, you ain't getting nothing, man. Okay, he did get one because from photo. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're getting six damage in here. We are protected. And we can use the Extinction event on the Cucumber next turn. can also just do it in lane 3 to go face. We got a lot of stuff going on. I think we got this one. <laughs> His Rumble don't do a damn, not a damn thing. Uh, he's thinking about which root wall to use. He'll use it here. No, he does not. Okay, he's saving it for next turn. It's kind of smart. Prevent 6, but... So now what? Three is the most we can do, so this is this is good. It gets a lot of value here. That's a really good dab. 
And we have three different cards we can play. Reactively. Wow, look at the B-Rex. So, three and six wins. Yep. So much cringe. That's game! Yes! So we're eight and one. Let's go for that nine and one, guys. Woo! Honestly, I, the, the Valks have been good. You know what I mean? The Valk has a really deep... You know, every once in a while, by the way, you put a Valk in the field and they don't answer it and you're just fruitcake or whatever. So that is possible, especially if you have a couple of them charged in your hands and you're kind of, you know, have other threats on the board. But the fact this deck does have a legitimate activator for Valk Besides for being very good in, in almost every other way, the graveyards have been fine. Everything's been good. I love this. The key to this deck is to play reactively, though. Make really smart plays. Don't throw, you know, your, your Space Ninja on the field on turn two if your opponent's going to have a crazy answer. I know I did that once today, but it was just once. You, you let me. Okay, we either have to get rid of Cowboy or get rid of Quasar. Uh, get rid of Quasar. Infinity Clones? So now we really don't have a play until turn three. So we're just playing control, but it's okay. We are a late game deck. Late game is our city. Prize! I will award the prize. Congratulations to the yes voters today. <laughs> All the yes voters were sweating when we lost that first game. No. No. 79% voted yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's how we say it in Israel. Uh, this is a cool card because if he sets up a ramp play, it absolutely decimates it. It, it looks like, kind of looks like teleportation zombie. <laughs> Thanks for charging my block meter for free though, for one damage. I really do appreciate it, man. I haven't seen a health nut. I have not seen a health nut in a Definitely not this year. We should bring health nut back. <laughs> Should I just do another one? Screw it. We're just doing another one. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> is this a. I can't tell if this is good. Well, the, it'll hit the mirror knot, and then we can free kick it actually. He gets a little damage, and it doesn't matter. We'd actually rather hit the mirror nut first. Because we get the free block charge. Uh-huh. Yes. Hell yes. I'll take the clones. I'll take the clones both going face here. Watch them both hit Mirror Nut, though. Then I'll just bungee it. Honestly, I would like that, because then I can save the free cake for the, for the Pecanola for whatever he plays next. Not so health nut. Yep. It's a vegan health nut. <laughs> Got him. So much fun. Such easy targets, these vegans. It's okay. I, I support everyone's everyone's choices, guys. That's what I do. Yes. Can I have deadly? <laughs> That's not bad. Oh my gosh, he's teleport Val. Guys, we got teleports now. We got we got them. We're not gonna actually set this up, yeah. Bro! Bro! I actually really want to... I don't mind taking this two damage. And we're doing two damage for free. So let's set up... Le, Le Station. Le Station. There we go. Guys, we have teleports. It's impossible to lose now. I bet you ain't gonna play around teleport value. Doesn't have free mana or dragon anyway. Yes! Look at the deadly... <laughs> Now we can't win a trade anymore! Oh my god, he's got oh my god, he's got the guy, 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 he's got the guy. If he starts removing minions, I teleport Valk right now. So I guess I might as well play since he has to remove something for the Valk to be any good, right? So, 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 which, do we do damage? I think space. It's gotta be correct. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't, I mean... Walnut bowling in a few turns. I, I love how I have two bungees to just deal with anything he does. Dude! Okay. Okay. 
That was uncool. Um, we could get another Quasar superpower. He didn't cover my environment, though. I don't know. I don't really want a bungee beast. <laughs> Just running nuts. Extra superpowers for the win? Or extra damage? <laughs> Whee! He's not killing anything. But we do have teleports. So that's good. <laughs> that was his brain and it was double forget me now. Yeah, good call guys in the chat. He got this somehow from fruitcake. We we fed him. We're just feeding. We just feed him, guys. But he had double forget me nuts. He's it's, I wish I was fruitcake. <laughs> that was the play. Dude, can you cuke or something? This is getting boring. <laughs> no. This is deadly, so it didn't really do anything. Ooh, friend? Maybe I'm friends and Maybe I'm friends and Can I can I can I can I do some stupid play here? So this costs five. I could um If this only has four attack four attack three attack, then this frenzy goes face. Doesn't matter. It can't be worth it, right? Maybe I'm friends and I don't know. That looks good. You're dead. You know, like the deadly, deadly cadaver. This actually sets up lethal unless he gets, well, any superpower. Unless that happens. Yeah, so that's out of the way. It's actually good. Maybe I'm friends Yeet, yeet. The man is feet, feet. Can he remove anything? Not really. Well, if he does, we can still free teleport Valak, so we'll just do it like that. Kill my cowboy! Do it! <laughs> He's going for Miranut again! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> well, it's just gonna be Bungie to face. It doesn't... No, this is gonna matter. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yes! Yes! Nine and one! <laughs> Dominated, man! This is very cool! I love this deck. I love this deck. I love how Valk actually works. We didn't get to teleport in Valk, but... Oh well. <laughs> next time. Next time I'll fry him up. But yeah, I mean, every... We didn't... The, the deck does well even if you don't have your Valks, but then you do. Then you have a backup plan, in case they're healing, in case they're doing all this crap. You can just get them from 20 to 0 pretty easily. We played against so many Kabloom heroes today. Definitely contributed to the success of this. Alright guys, that was the Grave Valk deck. An absolute astounding success. Of course it's going on YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! This is Fry.